Oh, the pedal is getting soft, I might say. Okay. Yeah, but even now, yeah, yeah, it's it's very soft. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the pedal cam, but it's almost flat to the floor. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the new cream. Welcome back into Andy's Subaru Impreza. Uh, hello. I have the clutch in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. sometimes. Uh, sometimes, okay. <laughs> You have feet cam, we can prove that the clutch was fully engaged. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to. Uh, yeah, back into Andy's car because we did already two laps. Yeah. We did one lap at the very beginning, almost a year ago, it was I think in April or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and then we got overheated, I think. Yes, it got a little bit warm. Yes, so yeah. then we did a second lap later when you put the oil cooler on, yeah. I think. And then the car stayed cool, but the brakes got too hot. Yes. Yes, and now we are running actually the braking ducts of a 902 GT3. Oh wow! Let's see if it works. <laughs> wow, yeah. yeah. And the second video that we did actually, I was silly enough to record one of the cameras for some reason and time lapse. Yeah. So it was really uh, unfortunate that we couldn't use that footage. So now all the cameras should be set up nicely, and this is our, going to be our third attempt, and for yes. you guys the second video. I'm really excited because you also did a couple of more mods, you said. Yes. Uh, after the second video that we did. It, get, uh, it got a new, um, some steering uh, rack pushings because the steering rack was uh, was a little bit leaky. Yeah. So I had to take it out anyways. And it has some new tires on, they're not from 2014. Okay. And we are now on Eagle F1 Super Sports, uh, Sports because uh, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S is not available in this uh -huh. size. And the PS5, I drove it in one of these cars, is a little bit too soft from, from steering. Okay. Um, but this side, this, this works pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I so far, so good. Yeah. Um, so let's see if the brake cooling works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So far, the brake pedal feels good, the tires do well as well. Six? Yes. All right. Um, because the knock sensors of the Subarus have some issues above uh -huh. 6,000. All right. So they can't uh, divide between knocking and engine noise. So uh -huh. they do nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's the the gearing problem because you then went yeah. upshift, but then you already need to downshift because you need to brake actually yeah. for some sections. might be like what the hell why are you running air suspension on the track but as you can see it's actually working quite nicely oh we have Nathan stays at supercars behind us in a super fast E36 oh yeah I saw the video That's so great. we can we can That's definitely amazing. shoot <laughs> he's fully focused <laughs> that might be the first That's the machine. yeah it might be the first E36 that's gonna go under sub uh, seven minute mark because he's been already doing 7.12 on, okay. on a track day suspension but it's actually uh, working nicely and for all the specs you can check out our first video that I'm probably gonna forget to link in the video description but hopefully not because we didn't have really time to do any walk around uh, this time and yeah people can then just watch it what was happening there pedal is getting soft I might say okay and the last time it was very sketchy the when we recorded 
in time lapse, the sketchiest moment was at Bergwerk. Bergwerk, yes. So uh, we're gonna be there in a second. I think these cars are too heavy. Yeah. For this, this break. Yeah, but even now, yeah, yeah, it's it's very soft. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the panel cam, but it's almost flat to the floor. So we're gonna take it easy. And it's not even uh, a hot day today. No. Mm. Mm. So what's the next upgrade the gonna next be? Next homework. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because yeah, I guess some bigger brakes and calipers or so. Yeah. So I'm gonna break now. Yeah. And that's kind of. I wasn't even going full speed, and I started breaking way before, and that was kind of like okay, it was fine. So we're out of our comfort zone now. Yeah. <laughs> but at least the handling is really good now. Yeah. It's 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 really like precise and good. You can do a bit of like. Trail braking, lift up oversteer, even, and then you go for it just like with other Subarus. It's, it's nice, but yeah, the brakes unfortunately require a bit more homework. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's an ongoing thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Easter weekend is gone. Yeah. 
Andy, thank you so much. Very, very cool. So, that was fun. I guess okay. for this video, it's important for us to see, because people didn't see the second video, yeah. that the oil temperature stays under 130. Yeah. It was 105 all the time. Uh, not above 105, I mean, at any given point. So that's good. Uh, not just the brakes. Then. Yeah. So I think it's we'll be back solid. for more. Yeah. Because me, as uh, who had his first car being in Preza, I'm never going to say no for a lap in it. <laughs> <laughs> Should be no problem. <laughs>